Just because there's nothing you can do to stop a woman from cheating does not mean that you should make it easy for them. I've used this example before. If somebody wanted to break into our place, they could. That doesn't mean I got to leave my doors unlocked. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to buy a security system. Doesn't mean you have to make it easy. It's the same with cheating. If a woman really wants to cheat, she will absolutely cheat. That doesn't mean that you have to make it easy. You make it as difficult for her to cheat as possible. And if she wants to cheat bad enough, now she's got a choice to make. She can either A, jump through all the, jump through all the hoops that, it com- uh, that comes with cheating and getting away with it, or B, she's going to have to come clean. And of course, we all know that women never, ever do what's easy. They want to, or they never do what's hard. They want to do what's easy. Well, you have to make the harder choice for them to cheat. Cheating has to be harder. You have to make cheating harder than just coming clean to you. At some point, she's going to have to be a woman. Hey, you know what, Donovan? It's just not working out. a short little snippet here guys um and it's about a guy and a girl who are having trouble they're having trouble she cheated blah 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 blah. so let's go ahead and get started here are the details sean cannot trust his girlfriend tracy after she cheated at the beginning of their relationship stop right there sean cannot trust his girlfriend after she cheated in the beginning of their relationship there is problem number one guys Problem number one is that Sean took her back after she cheated. And guys, listen, I have made this mistake many, many times before. I have taken women back after they revealed to me that they cheated on me. Now, the reason why men take back cheating girlfriends is because they don't have options, right? It's because they don't have options. The reason why I took back my cheating girlfriends is because I didn't have options, at least not that I know of. I was still emotionally invested in that. But when you take back a cheating girlfriend, when you take back a cheating wife, guys, it doesn't get better. It is all downhill from there. Your relationship will never, ever be the same. I have never seen or heard of a successful relationship where the girl cheated on the guy and the guy took her back. Never seen it. Now, on the outside, it may seem successful, but guess what? She's still sleeping with Kevin and Sales. She's still sleeping with Dave, the unemployed garage band guitar player who may or may not live in an RV that may or may not be his. Taking back a cheating girlfriend is never a good idea. Guys, it's not easy not to do that. Trust me, I know. When a woman you care about violates you in the worst way, it is a soul-crushing revelation. I've been there many times. Listen, there are a lot of people in this world that I don't like. There are a lot of men in this world that I do not like. I would not wish the pain and the shock and the agony that a that that a revelation of infidelity does to a man. Your body goes cold, you can't sleep, you can't eat, you throw up. It's terrible. It's terrible. You're hurt, you're in pain. It's oh god, it's terrible. The first thing you want is answers, but she's never going to give you the answer that you're looking for. So you end up taking her back because she convinces you, well, it was just one time or i did it uh, it just happened i was drunk we, we listen we've heard we've heard all the excuses we've heard all the excuses so they are now on a tv show because she has cheated on her she cheated on her boyfriend in the beginning of the relationship guys it never works out when you take her back we didn't see one girl we didn't didn't contact one girl that's a lie sean and she slept with three guys that's a lie. oh my god But apparently they took a little bit of a break, right? Which means technically she could sleep with whoever she wanted, okay? But they took a little bit of a break. He didn't sleep with any girls, but she slept with three, count them, three guys. Now, she admitted, she admitted to sleeping with three guys. So if a girl tells you, hey, when we were on a little break, I kind of had some fun. Well, what do you mean funs? Fun. Like, what are you talking about? Well, I kind of slept with a couple of guys. Well, how many? Three? That number's probably closer to seven. Maybe it's eight. You guys have to remember, women are never completely honest with you about things pertaining to their sexual activity. 
they're never honest with you. They're never, ever honest with you. So Sean thinks that his girlfriend slept with three guys. That number is higher. I can guarantee it. Inside, oh, so that was on a break. So you don't consider that that doesn't count? Well, it counts to me. But See that? So she did it on a break, right? And technically that doesn't count. But guys, of course it counts. It counts to everybody. If you guys take a break, if you take a break from your, if you guys take a break in your relationship and your girl goes out and gets pounded out by seven guys, you think to yourself, dude, like what gives? Like what, what, why in the world, like how in the world is she able to sleep with seven guys? Well, she probably was sleeping with at least one of them before you guys went on your little break. Even if she wasn't, even if she wasn't, guys, girls can go out and get sexual attention from men simply by existing open up their phone they're getting hit they're getting hit in the face with phalluses male phalluses i'm trying to keep it a little cleaner here guys that's that's what happens this is what happens girls get sex so much easier than men matt forney a while back wrote an article entitled a hundred percent of women or 24 hour or 100 percent of women have sex within 24 hours of a breakup 100% true. 1000% true. And if your girl if 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 you break up with your girl or rather if she breaks up with you or she says let's take a break, she is absolutely going to get pounded out, which means she wanted out. Now, if you dump your girl out of nowhere, if she goes off and does the whole revenge sex thing, well then you know that she probably wanted out in the first place. If your girl doesn't sleep around when you guys break up or take a break, chances are she probably liked you. But as we all know, girls are always inundated with options all the time. Right. And how many guys did you say it was? Three. Well, Tracy. I felt really. I mean, how are you a 31-year-old woman and you're in love, but you can go sleep with three other men? Well, because she's a woman. And no matter how in love you think a woman is with you, she is always gonna she's always gonna take the opportunity to sleep around. Guys, this is how it is, man. And there's nothing you can do to stop your girlfriend from cheating. If she wants to cheat, she's gonna cheat. Then people say, well, Donovan, what about you? You've got uh, you know, you've got spyware on Devin's phone. You know where she is, what she does, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't mean I that does not mean that she couldn't cheat. Devin could easily cheat. You kidding me? I can think of I can think of four or five ways right off the top. Where she could pull it off. And I'm sure she, I'm, dude, I'm sure she could probably think of twice that many. Well, then why even do that in the first place? Why put spyware on her phone? Are you insecure? No, I'm territorial. Just because there's nothing you can do to stop a woman from cheating does not mean that you should make it easy for them. I've used this example before. If somebody wanted to break into our place, they could. That doesn't mean I got to leave my doors unlocked. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to buy a security system. Doesn't mean you have to make it easy. It's the same with cheating. If a woman really wants to cheat, she will absolutely cheat. That doesn't mean that you have to make it easy. You make it as difficult for her to cheat as possible. And if she wants to cheat bad enough, now she's got a choice to make. She can either A, jump through all the, jump through all the hoops, that it come uh, that comes with cheating and getting away with it, or B, she's gonna have to come clean. And of course, we all know that women never ever do what's easy. They want to, or they never do what's hard. They want to do what's easy. Well, you have to make the harder choice for them to cheat. Cheating has to be harder. You have to make cheating harder than just coming clean to you. At some point, she's gonna have to be a woman. Hey, you know what, Donovan? It's just not working out. There's a guy I'm trying to hook up with. I, I don't feel the same, blah, 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 blah. That's how it goes. That's always how it goes. And so at some point, you have to make that decision. At some point, a woman has to make that decision. They have to. Just because a woman, just because a woman can cheat if she wants to does not mean you have to make it easy. How do you say you're in love with me and talk to me and treat me the way that you do on a daily basis? And then oh, here we go. Now we have the excuses. Now we have the excuses. See? How do you tell me you love me when you talk to me and treat me like crap and treat me the way you do, blah, 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 blah. There's always a reason. It's always somebody else's fault. The reason why women cheat is because they want to and they can get away with it. That's it. If a man really, listen, if a man really and truly treated a woman like crap, guess what? In this day and age, she wouldn't cheat. She absolutely, she absolutely positively would not cheat. 
right? Women talk all the time. Well, if he treats me like, well, the reason I cheat is because he treated me like crap. Well, that's odd because the guys who treat you like crap seem to have your undying loyalty, right? Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to, I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to hear that. Well, he treated me like crap. So, so I, so, so, so I cheated on him. No, I'm not trying to hear that. No. How did you find out that she slept with three men? Because I told him. Oh, okay. But Ooh, whoa, wait a minute. Oh, all of a sudden he's like, oh, you threw me away because I told him, look, watch that again. Look at the attitude she has. In love with me and talk to me and treat me the way that you do on a daily basis. Uh -huh. And just like Pimped Out Geese says, and by the way, I appreciate that $100 super chat. I'm going to shout that out in a minute. That's always the reason. Well, he treated me like crap, so I cheated. <sighs> Fuck out of here with that. And just throw me away. <laughs> watch. Watch. You see how she's like, oh, 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 oh. remember what I always say, guys. What I, I always say this. The only time a woman's tears are genuine is when she is crying by herself. That is the only time a woman's cheer, a woman's tears are truly genuine is when she's crying by herself. That's it. That's it. If there is a crowd of even one person, those are crocodile tears. You're about to see proof of that right now. Watch. So she's crying. No, watch. How did you find out that she slept with three men? Because I told him. Look at that. Oh, now all of a sudden it's because I told him. See that? She wasn't really crying. She's just trying to garner sympathy. That's all that is. Oh, okay. But Tracy, yeah. three? I will oh, look at this. Isn't this interesting? Even Vivica Fox knows, well, wait a minute, baby girl, three? This just goes to show that no matter what women say, they know that sleeping around, they know that being promiscuous is not a good thing. And oh, by the way, the people that do the most slut shaming are women. Women do the most slut shaming. It's not close. That's how it is. So there's Vivica Fox. She's like, okay, like, I know y'all took a break, but three? What was going on, baby girl? I'm <laughs> hurt. You were hurt? I felt like he threw me away. So, Sean, do you love Tracy? I do love Tracy. No. Tracy, do you love what Sean? do you love? I asked you. you feel, I, mean, no I feel like you're very self-righteous about your cheating, Tracy. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Listen to this. You're, you're pretty self-righteous about your cheating. And what you need to stop it? making excuses. Right? I'm not. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Once again, and 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 I say this all the time, guys. Men are very quick to are very are, men are very slow to slut shame women. At least out in public, men don't do these days. Men don't slut shame. Not in public. Not in public. Here she is. Vivica's like, yo, three. Like, what's going on, baby girl? And this woman is like, you know what? Like, you kind of seem like you're wearing this like a badge of honor, sweetie. You kind of you kind of making excuses for your cheating. Women know women, dude, women know that promiscuous behavior is not good for women. No matter what they say, no matter what they say, they know it's bad. And the proof is right here. Making it I don't understand where the love is. Explain to me what you love about each other. He's funny, he's smart, he takes care of me, you know. He's funny, he's smart, and he takes care of me. Take care of me. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I seem to remember her saying the reason why she cheated was because of the way he treated her. Yet here she is telling us, well, the reason I love him is because he's caring and he takes care of me and he's good to me. This is what women do. This goes right back to what Pimped Out Geese was talking about. Anytime a woman says, well, I cheated on him because he treats me like crap, it is always a lie. The men who the men who treat women the best get cheated on the fastest. It shouldn't be that way. It didn't used to be like that, but that's the way it is now. That's the way it is now. You see how quickly the truth comes out. Get thousands of hours of content not found anywhere on patreon.com slash Donovan Sharp. Link in description.